Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to another online class with your ma'am Mariani. Today will be the last class for me, you know, for grade one. Okay, so uh, today also we will be learning about the subject general knowledge and it's all going to be about revision. All right, so whatever we have learned during this short period of time, that is during this uh, two to three weeks, we're going to revise it. All right, so let's get started. Now, uh, whatever I'm going to revise the topics, I will be asking you questions. So please make sure that you are staying alert and answering to my questions. I think that is fair enough, right? So let's get started without further delay, okay? So yeah, the first chapter that we learned about was about, look at the picture and tell me the name of the chapter. It was about fruits. Everybody knows that. F-R-U-I-T-S, fruits. Now, I have introduced you to some of the name of the fruits, right? So today I will be just asking you some of the name of the fruits. I'm not going to ask you all, okay? But I will be just asking you some, all right? So here it is. Name the king of the fruit. Can you tell me the king of the fruit? I've already shown you the picture. So it is very easy for you to tell me the answer. So the king of the fruit is mango. Yeah, the king of the fruit is mango, juicy, juicy mango, M-A-N-G-O, mango, right? Okay, so the next question is about identifying the name of the given fruit. You see a picture on the screen? It looks so fresh and it looks yummy and delicious. So this is a grapes. Yeah, so this is a grapes, G-R-A-P-E-S, grapes, yeah, all right. Now, the next question is, look at the picture. It is red in color, it is round in shape, and eating this particular fruit keeps your heart strong and your lungs in a better, uh, in a healthy way. I should put that in that way. So, can you identify the name of this fruit? So, this is an apple. A double P L E apple. All right, okay. So that was all about uh, you know fruits. Now, right after fruits, we learned about animals and their babies. Look at the picture. Oh, so adorable, right? Such an adorable picture. So these are the babies of some of the animals. So the next chapter that we learned about was animals and their babies. So I'll be asking you a question from this particular chapter as well. So here, the first question is, which animal baby is this picture? You see a picture on the screen. Look at the picture. I give you like at the count of three, you have to identify, you know, this baby. Okay, one, two, three. So this is a baby of a bear. B E A R bear, and it is called as cup, right? C U P cup. Okay, all right. So the next question is about this animal. This is a cat, right? This is a cat, and the name of a baby, uh, you know, baby cat is is kitten, right? K I double T E N kitten. Okay. Next question. This is a piglet. Everybody knows this animal. This is a piglet. This is a baby piglet. So how do we call the mother of a piglet? How do we call a mother of a piglet? This is how a, you know, a mother of a piglet looks like. And this is a pig. P-I-G, pig. Okay. Remember, animal of a pig is piglet. Mother of a piglet is pig. Okay. All right, now here, this is a duck. This is a duck and the name for a baby duck is duckling, right? The name for a baby duck is duckling. D-U-C-G-L-I-N-G, duckling. All right, okay. Now here, the next chapter that we learned right after animal and their babies was about animal products, right? The food, 
The usable items that we receive or that we get from animals are termed as animal products, right? So here are some of the questions from this particular chapter. Now here, you need to match the following. You see four pictures on the screen, and that is a cow, an egg, a chicken, and a milk. So you have to match it correctly. Why? Because it is not matched correctly right now. So do you think a cow gives us an egg? Do you think a chicken gives us a milk? <laughs> so you already got the answer, right? So the correct answer will be a cow gives us a milk and a chicken gives us an egg, right? Okay, another question. Now here you see another four picture, meat, pea, honey, piglet, yeah? Not piglet, pig. We'll give it as pig, P-I-G, pig, all right? So, do you think a bee gives us a meat? Have you ever tasted the meat of a bee? Um, I don't think so, yeah? So, and then have you ever tasted a honey which is produced by a bee? Have you ever, ever tasted? Never, ever, right? So here, it is matched incorrectly again, so you have to match it correctly. So, honey is from the bee, so a bee gives us honey, and this pig gives us a meat, as simple as that, all right? Okay, another question is, we use dash to make butter. So what do we use to make a butter? I've already told you this in the explanation, right? So we use a milk, M-I-L-K, milk to make a yummy, yummy butter, yeah? Okay, all right. So right after animal products, we learned about seasons. We learned about season, right? So what is a season? You have to tell me the answer now. What is a season? So, a season is simply the division of the year. So, how many seasons are there in a year? There are about four seasons. Yeah? So, can you tell me the name of the four seasons? It was spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, spring, autumn, A-U-T-U-M-N, summer, S-C-W-M-E-R, and finally, winter, W-I-N-D-E-R, winter. Yeah? Okay, now here is a question for you all. Flowers started to bloom during dash. So you see, you get to see flowers blooming, you know, during which season? Is it when it is very hot, when it is very cold, or when you see lots of butterflies? What is the correct answer? So flowers started to bloom during spring season. S-P-R-I-N-G, S-E-A-S-O-N, season, yeah? Okay, now the dash is the hottest season of the year. Is it winter season? Is it spring season? Is it autumn season? Or is it summer season? So the correct answer is summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. -E so summer is the hottest season of the year, all right? Okay, now here, when you get to see Lots of leaves on the ground. Which season is this? I've already told you. So trees started to shed leaves during dash. So this is absolutely going to be autumn season. A-U-T-U-M-N. Autumn. All right. Now, finally, we wear jackets weather during which season? Dash. When you're feeling terribly hot, when you're sweating like a pig, do you think you're going to wear a jacket? Do you think you're going to wear socks? Definitely not. Yeah. So jackets are worn during winter season. W-I-N-D-E-R, winter. So this was all about the season chapter. Yes. Now, the next chapter that we have learned right after season was about the sense of organs, the sense of organs. So how many sense organs are there? There are five sense organs. That is eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin. So these are the five sense organs. 
Now, from this chapter also, I have a classwork. So, the classwork is about our eyes is the sense of touch. You're able to see with your eyes. This is called the sense of sight. So, our eyes is the sense of sight. Now, we have a nose. We use our nose to smell. So, our nose is the sense of smell. S M E W -L, L, smell. Yes? Okay. Now, here, everybody has two ears, right? So, we, with the help of our ears, we are able to listen and we are able to hear. So, our ears is the sense of hearing. It's the sense of hearing. Now, we have a dung. And with the help of a dung, we are able to test the flavor of spicy, uh, you know, sweet, sour, and bitter. So, our tongue is the sense of taste. T-A-S-T-E, taste. Finally, our skin. We have skin all over our body. Okay, so our skin is the sense of touch. T-O-U-C-H, touch. All right, so this was all about the five sense of organs. Clear, everybody? Okay, so eyes, nose, ears, tongue, and skin. And you know the actions that they perform. Now, the next chapter that we learned about was about animal sounds. You know, right after seasons, we learned about animal sounds. Look at the picture. We learned about the sound of a lion. We learned about the sound of a tiger. But, but the sounds are similar only, okay? We learned about the sound of an elephant. We learned about the sound of a cow. We learned about the sound of a cat. And we also learned about the sound of a dog. So I will be asking you some few questions from this chapter as well. So the question is about matching it correctly, all right? So you see a dog on the screen, the picture of a dog on the screen. So do you think a dog roars? Do you think a dog roars? The second is about the picture of a cat. Do you think a cat barks? Woof, woof, yeah? Or do you think a lion mews? Meow, meow. Do you think this sound is, you know, done by a lion? Mm -hmm, absolutely not. So you have to match it correctly, all right? So lion will be roar, dog will be bark, and cat will be meow. Okay, another classwork is here again. You see the picture of a cow, you see the picture of a goat, you see the picture of an elephant. You think the sound of a cow is meh, it, is it bleat? You think the sound of a goat is trumpet? Do you think the sound of an elephant is moa, moo? Mm -hmm. That is again wrong. So you have to match it correctly again. So a cow moose, yeah, a goat bleeds, and an elephant makes a sound, and that sound is called trumpet. Clear? So this was all about animal sounds. After that, we learned about our national flag. You can also just say our national flag. All right, so I've already explained it to you about our national flag, so I'm just going to give you a worksheet related to the national flag of India. So the upper portion of the flag is what color students? Can you tell me? It was saffron. Yeah, it was saffron. The second color was white and finally the lower portion of the flag was green. So when we color this, this is how our flag will looks like. It is a tricolor saffron, white and green and do not forget to color the Ashoka Chakra which looks like a wheel and this is blue color. Is that clear? Okay, so this is all about our national flag. After that, we learned about traffic symbols. We learned about traffic symbols. Yes or no? Alright, so now here. This is a traffic light. And I have explained this to you and I've already explained about the traffic lights to you all. 
Yes or no, all right? So the traffic lights comprises of three colors. So the first is, the first, the second, and the third. So the first is red, the second is yellow, and the third is green. So after coloring it, this is how the traffic light is going to look like. So you all know that red says stop, yellow says wait, green says go. And this traffic light is for the drivers, a person who is driving a car. Yes or no? Okay. All right. Now here, when you see this sign, this is a sign of no parking. So when you're driving a car, when you see the sign, you cannot park in that particular zone or in that particular area. Clear? All right. Now here, after that, after the traffic symbols, we learned about cartoons. Remember, I love cartoons was the cha next chapter that we learned about. So this is a classwork again. So you have to look at the picture and you have to write their names below. Okay. So you see this, a Mickey Mouse. This is a cartoon character wearing a white clothes and a red sh short and a large yellow shoes. So this cartoon character is Mickey Mouse. Yeah, this is a very courageous cartoon character and she's just eight years old and she is Dora. This is a cartoon character again who has an extensive knowledge in signs and he wears a 40 pocket, okay, and he keeps all his gadgets there. He is none other than Doraemon, yeah. This is another cartoon character who loves to eat latu, remember? And after eating latu, he used to become stronger and healthier, you know, and bigger. So this is Choda Pin. So this was all about cartoons. The next chapter that we learned about was good habits and good behavior. So be secure and do good was the name of the chapter, right? So you have to tell me six good habits that we have already discussed. So it is about taking shower every day, you know, eating healthy food, praying to God every day, wearing clean clothes, waking up early in the morning and going to bed early, okay? And finally, brushing teeth twice a day. So these are some of the six good habits that you and I can follow and which I've already explained it to you all, right? Okay, now here, another thing is, now here, this is the picture which tells you not to spit on every, on anyone, okay? This is a very, very, very bad habit. So you should never do this. All right, so those were some of the chapters that we have covered under the grade one. All right, so uh, this is it for the day. And a big thank you to all of you. It was really fun to teach you all, even though I don't see you all. You know, I'm imagining myself that you all are with me. Okay, so for grade one, this has come to the end. It was such a overwhelming session to be with you all. Okay, so whatever I have taught you, please make sure that you are revising it, you are learning it, and you are making use of it. Is that clear? Okay, so till then, you please take care of yourself, listen to your parents, and be a good girl and a good boy. Yeah, okay, so bye-bye everyone. Thank you and take care.